my youtube family welcome or welcome back to my channel um i hope you guys have been doing well i have been getting better um as the days go by um if you follow me on instagram you'll know why i've been absent for the last i uh, want to say few weeks i'm just checking my phone just to be accurate on the time um few weeks maybe a month i think i've been away let me double check <laughs> um um uh, but yeah about a month yeah so the 24th of may yeah so uh as i was saying if you guys follow me on ig you know why i've been absent for so long and maybe what this video is about today if you don't follow me on instagram please do so because uh like on there i will tell you guys what my next video is if i'm gonna be late blah 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 i'm trying to post more so i would really appreciate if you guys follow me on instagram thank you but anyway so today's video is about a change that i have made well a change that i had made got made done but anyway it's about a huge change i don't know if you can already tell what that change is maybe you can but i'm gonna tell you i had surgery ah. what type of surgery i had you're gonna have to carry on watching to find out so let's do a backtrack so i've been waiting for this surgery for about five six years so that would tell you it was needed it wasn't like you know for cosmetical reasons no it was a medical need like it needed to be done so on the 24th of may is when i was like i, I checked into hospital so i will link that video because it's on my phone i did a little snippet so i'll link that um link that video no i won't i will play that video somewhere on the screen so you can see exactly what went on on the 24th of may so guys, um, as you can see, I'm in my gown, I've got a little bracelet, um, I don't know what my surgery is, but I'm first, um, yeah, yes, put me on Vogue, um, but right now I'm waiting for my nurse to come in to get me the slippers and uh, the little tights thing, mesh stocking, whatever it is that I have to wear. Um, yeah, I'm trying to do this real quick because I don't think I'm supposed to be recording, but you know, I said I was going to give you guys a deed, so. But um, the surgery that I had was a breast reduction. Yes, guys, I am smaller if you can tell, maybe. Let me unzip this. So at the moment I'm wearing sports bras because I can't wear um, like the normal bras because I'm still healing and I will later on get into the video of that. But I am wearing sports bras until now from a couple of weeks ago until about July when I should be fully healed. Again, I'll get more into that. So um, I've made some notes so I know exactly what I'm talking about. So the first one is why did I get my reduction? So... The reason why I got my reduction was because the size that I was before, which was a 34 double H. Yes, you heard me right. 34 double H. That is huge. Like, it, it was that big. So the reason why I got the, um, the surgery was because when I wear my bras, like, it would cut into my skin. And it would leave bruises and, like, dark lines. Um, So that was one of the issues the second issue was back pain i had back pain for years like i said i've been waiting for this surgery about five six years so i've been having back pain for years and before someone tried to be smart and be like why don't you do exercise da, 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 da. exercise does not help it doesn't help okay i'm walking around with this huge thing on my chest 24 7 every day there's no way for me to like i'm walking around with this heavy load on me so exercise doesn't work and i do swim and i used to do zumba and all that but it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't do anything it doesn't help another reason why i got my surgery as well because um like i said back pain but also it was messing up my spine so all that weight on my shoulder was like squitching my 
like my spine so obviously that i can't walk around like that forever so that's the reason why i had my reduction as well as the fact that they're heavy they're extremely heavy and i'm going to let you know exactly how heavy they are when i tell you the size like how much they took off during surgery so you'll get a rough idea how heavy they are but they're really heavy on top of that sleeping was an issue for me so if i slept on my back i would snore because they're just on my chest if i slept on my like on my front part sometimes i would actually stop breathing for a couple of seconds so i'd wake myself up so obviously no that's a huge issue so sleeping for me was an issue because like the position is trying to get comfortable and then i have to like i have a pillow and then i have like another little pillow to support the, the little dividend in my back so yeah all of those reasons rolled into one and the fact that they're still growing there is a chance that they will grow back touch wood that they won't because i'm really not trying no like no so but they were still constantly like they were still growing so they would have gotten bigger so yeah they needed to go hurrah they went <laughs> and look they're just so much better now they're just you know they're a normal size ish yes normal size um and they're just oh i'm in love with them like i'm in love with them so okay so that's the first topic of why um why i got it done how long it took well so how long it took i already told you guys i was waiting five to about five to six years for the surgery the actual surgery itself um i remember they're wheeling me into the well it's not the operating room like it was before the operating room so that i do my blood pressure and stuff and then they were injecting the the thing in my arm i'll also link a video or image or whatever it is that i have of that in somewhere along this screen so you guys will see exactly what i'm talking about but um i think i went to surgery at 12 wait i'll tell you um i went i was waiting for surgery do, 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 do. Nine, nine, nine. yes i think i went into surgery nine about 12 o'clock or before 12 and then i came out around one two so yeah that's how long surgery took um what else is on here how long it took yep check why i did it okay so after surgery when i came out again i'll link some videos because i think i've got videos of a couple of hours or the night of the surgery my face is swollen it's oh, sorry about my diet it's almost 12 I'm on a trip um because I'm in so much pain so currently on a um, paracetamol trip <sighs> to help with the pain I'm so and bruised it's not cute. Oh, yeah. I was sore and swollen. Um, I think one of the one of my boobs is still a bit swollen. I can't remember if it's the left or the right. But one of them's still swollen. But anyway, I was swollen. My face was swollen. My boobs obviously was swollen. They were tender. It was sore it it was i don't know how to describe the feeling so you guys know but it was really uncomfortable especially for the first the first couple of hours it was really 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 uncomfortable so after they wheeled me out i was on the ward um i was in pain so um they gave me paracetamol but like the liquid form and that ish worked so well like it knocked me out that's how well it worked i had that and two i was it ibuprofen that they gave me as well but they gave me that and something else and before i knew it i was out i was like i was out i was 
I think I woke up just in time for the dinner round when they were coming around to ask what you wanted for dinner. Dinner was not that great. Again, I'll put the video so you can see what I ate, but it wasn't that great. I mean, it's NHS, it's our sort. I didn't expect much, but um, yes, yeah, so I was sore. That night, I did bleed a lot. Um, I think I got a, I got a photo of some of what I could take, but I did bleed a lot. Um, I bled through all the bandages, the dressing, and it was on my dressing gown. Like it was all the way down here, it was sticking to me. So I had to get that taken off, and then they had to wipe me down. Well, wipe down here without getting the dressing wet. And then they had to like apply more dressing on top, but they couldn't take off the original dressing, obviously. So they had to like put more on top. So, um, so that's the night of my operation. I stayed in there, I think I stayed in there for two days. Yeah, because I was bleeding so much, I had to stay in there for two days. Um, the third day, I think it was the third day, or the morning of the second day, I can't remember. My sister came to get me. <sighs> that Uber ride was, it, it was painful. It was painful, I'm not gonna lie, it was painful. Um, but yeah, I got home, I got in bed. And that's where the fun began. So when I got home, I popped some more Cocodomo. Co co yeah, that's it, Cocodomo. Because I was in pain still. Um, I was in pain and they're like, if you're in pain, then pop the pills. So I popped that. Um, leakage. I was leaking for, like, I would say about two weeks. I was leaking, like, Con like leaking like really heavily through the band no yeah through the bandage through my clothes like heavily leaking for about two weeks i didn't have the drip thing in i didn't need it but my dressings and stuff were leaking through um a lot so i had to for the first week i couldn't do anything about it i just had to keep like putting more dresses on like I couldn't take off the bandages or anything and I couldn't get it wet so I had to get my sister to just keep reapplying more and more and more and more and more by the end of it I looked like I'm on me like my boobs was just covered in wrappages and I look like the mummy I look like the mummy from this part here I was the mummy like that's it I was just like this um so when it comes to sleeping I had to sleep literally upright like this so I was like this but on my bed obviously so I had pillow at the back and then I had another pillow so I had like three or four pillows and then I had two at the side to support my side so I don't lean or roll but I had to sleep like that until about a week ago where I was a rebel and started sleeping on my side I, I'm still too scared to sleep on my front even though I'm not allowed to yet but I was a rebel I was like no nah, I can't sleep on my back forever this is uncomfortable so I've been sleeping on my side but I had like a pillow propped up here so it's not you know too much weight i guess but yeah <laughs> i've been sleeping like that um i'm trying to think what else so this video is not too long I'm just trying to give you like the main points um oh um i'm still well i'm not leaking leaking but i still got bandage on this boob because when i went to go get checked up um, my nurse said it's still got a small opening where it hasn't fully healed so this one's got a small dressing about here here yeah about here it's got a small dressing um this one doesn't have any dressing at all but i think this is the one that's still slightly um slightly swollen i think um what else is there movement so i had no movement at all and i didn't realize how much like you know mobility like this little part of my body actually had in, and i needed for my everyday life so for the first like i said for the first two weeks i was bedridden i couldn't do anything i couldn't move i couldn't couldn't have a shower because obviously i couldn't get it wet if i had a shower it was like bottom half shower then like sponge my arms couldn't put any deodorant because chemical no um, I couldn't put anything like fragrancy. Mm, no, again. Um, food. I had to shout out to my sister. 
the one that always does the videos with me she was an angel so thank you thank you thank you she had me like she had me patterned up i'm gonna put in my breakfast i think i had one video or a photo of the breakfast that she gave me but it was i didn't eat like that every day but I ate great every day. I had my fruits, I had my water, I had my juice, I had my tea, I had breakfast. I don't have lunch. I eat twice a day. And so I had my breakfast. That lasted me until about dinner time. Then I had my dinner and I was good for the day. No, I'm not starving myself. I literally only eat twice a day. But I also link that in here so you guys can see how I was eating like a queen. Now I'm back to feeding myself. Ugh, eating like a peasant. Okay, so like I said, the size I was before was a 34 double H. Um, during the operation, they took um, a kilo and a bit from each boob. So they took in total 2 point, I think it was like 2.5 kgs that they took from me. So imagine, this is the size I am now. I think you guys can see. You guys can see, yes? So this is the size I am now. I don't know exactly what cup it is because I haven't been to measure, like I haven't gotten measured yet. Cause like I said, I can't wear a normal bra yet because I'm not fully healed. So the wires and stuff will like irritate the scars and all that. So this is the size that I am now, roughly. Um, I'm hoping it's about a, a, B, C, D. I'm hoping about a D, maybe E max. I'm not trying to go any above that. But could you imagine this and then add another 2.5 kgs? That is what I had to walk around with every single day. So, yeah, it was heavy. It was heavy. If you guys can find 2.5 kg weights somewhere, just walk around with just that. And then, you know, you might get, a, you'll have a slight inkling of what it was like. All the ladies out there that have big boobs, you guys know what I'm talking about this issue is heavy and it's uncomfortable finding clothes to fit you is an issue finding bras it's an issue the cost a huge issue before roughly one bra will cost me about 30 pounds now imagine buying a bra every three to four months because your boobs kept growing and it kept coming out like you have the side bulge and you have this at one point i just gave up and i was like no but yeah so that's what i was before um i don't know my exact size now when i do find out my size i might let you guys know i don't know i don't think so no but anyway that's the size i was the size i am now i'm not 100 percent sure because i haven't had my boobs measured yet so when i do do that then i'll know exactly what size i am and now that i have my reduction I can start doing the exercises and the stuff that I actually enjoy doing so I can start doing more dancing and stuff like that and eventually once I've lost the weight that I want to lose I'm going to do some clothing haul clothing haul videos for you guys so you know with this comes new changes to the channel as well so let me know what you guys want me to do if there's any questions that you guys have that I haven't covered um feel free to drop it down in the comment section or if you want me to answer you privately feel free to go over to my instagram page drop me questions there or anything and i will answer them if it's a lot of questions or if like you guys feel like i've missed something that i really should have covered i will do a quick like two three minute video at the beginning of one of my other videos just to cover that and then yeah so i won't do another full video on this i feel like i've covered everything but like i said if you guys feel like i haven't i will do another quick two to three minute video just to cover whatever you guys think i've missed um but yeah again thank you guys so much for the support and thank you guys so much for being patient during this whole time and this procedure um yes i am healing well i'm a lot better now um i'll be fully healed in july um, so I have some video ideas planned for July that I can't do now because obviously, you know, those activities, um, I'm restricted at the moment. So in July when hopefully, fingers crossed, my doctor's like green light, um, I will be doing more, more activities outside and like let you guys see a bit more of London and stuff like that and let you see me 
more than just sitting here but anyway guys thank you so much for tuning in to today's video um if you liked it give it a thumbs up drop your comments down below um if you haven't subscribed to my channel feel free to do so it doesn't cost you anything and um yeah until next time guys take care of yourself make great decisions bye bye